Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your $15 puppet into something much more expensive looking. All right, the first thing I want to say is this is actually a fine little puppet. For $15, I don't think you could possibly find something any better. The only thing is it's not very professional though. This is something I see more as like a kid's toy. So what we're really going to do is upgrade it. Or kind of like a Pokemon evolving. We're going to take it to the next level. Let's get started. The first thing I wanted to do was get rid of the costume. It's actually a pretty good costume. I'll definitely be saving these for later use. I thought the white of the eyes was stitched over the face. I was surprised to find a giant hole behind each eye. Getting the plastic pupils off ended up being a lot more difficult than I expected too. So now that we have this puppet down to bare bones, let's start making some changes. Step one is to replace the hair. To make the hair, I chose a fur that was much longer. This is going to give us much more options to style the hair. Then I stitch it straight to the puppet's head. This can be a little tedious, but it gives you a much better result than just gluing it on. We're going to style the hair in just a minute, but first I want to give it a slight trim on the sides and back. This is going to make your puppet look much more professional too, and much more realistic, since it's kind of styled after the way people really get their hair cut. To deal with these eye holes, I decided to do a light stitch over the top of it. Now the goal of this is not to close those eyelids shut, it's just to kind of keep them from spreading further. Next it's time to attach the eyes. You can see how I made these eyes by clicking the card right up here. I used contact cement to attach them and then press down firmly. Next for the clothes, I found an infant onesie that fit pretty well. I cut off the bottom part that snaps together, and it was still just a little bit too wide, so I did one cut up the back and stitched it up with just one seam. Now it fits pretty well. Now that all the main features are added, it's time to start styling the hair. The first step is to wet it down. This is going to make it much more easier to manage. And then for the rest of this technique, I use Elmer's glue as like a hair gel. And I already have a full tutorial on how to style hair using this method. So make sure you click the link in the card right here. The link is also down in the description. Next, it's time for the pupils. I like to use the sticky backed velvet. And then I use some simple punches to punch out some perfect size pupils. You can see the full process for this in my Puppet Eyes playlist. Then using a red sharpie, I just add a little bit more definition to the tongue. It's a small detail, but it makes a big difference, especially from a distance. Lastly, I grabbed a couple arm rods to use, and then I bent the tips into like a P shape. That gives me a little bit more control. And then after that, we're done. <laughs> All right, here he is. Now he's a, a little bit nicer looking, I think. At least he can do eye focus the way a puppet should do. But other than that, now both of his arm rods move really well. So he's definitely an upgrade. I get a lot of comments from people telling me that they're not confident with their sewing skills. That was kind of the point of this project. To create a decent looking puppet with minimum sewing. And the best way to dodge sewing is by using an existing puppet. Because I was trying to get around too much sewing, there's a lot of my own personal rules that I broke on this project. If you follow a bunch of my videos, you know pretty well that I'm against using baby clothes for clothing for a puppet. Clothes are designed to fit a specific body type, so obviously local stores don't carry puppet clothes, and very few puppets are the actual proportions of a baby. Because of some of these limitations I put on myself to make a video that might be more useful for you guys, I was holding back a little bit. So let me know if you want me to do this project again, but take it to the next level. So for a Pokemon reference, instead of going from Charmander to Charmeleon, like this guy here, we're going to go from Charmander to Charizard. So the next build will be with no limitations. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Don't I look much better now? <laughs> well, not perfect, but much better. <laughs>